welcome to Specific Lab, and this is the 17th edition of Tim Life Facts with PVC. Let's begin! Many viewers have wanted us to do this and make a bike stand for their nice, fancy, expensive bikes that do not come with kickstands. Well, this is just the easy, simple way to make a bike stand with PVC. First off, we have some elbows right here and roughly 22 inch poles that come down here and connect the tees. And these tees connect to other tees that make legs. And then over here, we also have this connect to these tees that makes a support bar. So you can uh, make sure to keep your bike in there nice and safety. And then these ones connect to different tees that make some more legs so it can stand up easier. This is a very simple design and I hope you guys can use it. I've just created the first redneck PVC chandelier. All right, all kidding aside, this is just some PVC joints. I got a bunch of elbows, some tees, and a four-way right here in the middle. I just have a piece of paracord that has a hole drilled in it. And all these are, are just your solar lights. So if by chance you have an outdoor awning or somewhere where these lights can get, well, sun during the daytime, you can hang this up and then at night, at least for a little while, you'll have a nice glowing chandelier. One of my viewers named Clyde Otto mentioned that he likes to go out fishing a lot and takes his fishing net out, but sometimes it's just not long enough. So, he added a piece of PVC. And all I did was drill a hole through the PVC and through the net pole here, added a nut on the side, and now you can reach way out there and you can get that bass that's on the end of your line. You don't have to worry about you falling in or you accidentally dropping the net in. Have fun fishing. We've noticed a lot of flags hanging on people's mailboxes. Well, we came up with a great idea on how to hang your flag. We just have uh, elbow, two pieces of PVC, and two end caps. And you can just hang it on there, strap it on there, and it can hang your flag or whatever you want. A viewer by the name of Fonda Seraph sent me a pretty cool picture of a temporary awning that she put up at her place. Now this is a somewhat similar design and she created a nice little square rectangle that goes over the window and she added a tarp that is strapped to it so that she can then attach it to the top and then have supports at the bottom and it'll hold the awning up and that way you can block some of the sun, give you a little extra shade. I wouldn't recommend this as a storm awning, it's just not strong enough, but for just a temporary awning, good idea. One of our viewers named Robert E. O'Neill sent me some pictures of his awesome music stand he created. Now he's a musician and he loves to play, but he needed some way to keep his book right in front of him. So he created this stand, it not only holds a book, but it also has a place for his pens. He put some double-sided tape right there in the front so he can hold his guitar picks. And this is just a great design and structure. If you look at it closely, it is well made, it uses all three quarter inch PVC. Thank you, Robert, this is a great idea. Here's a great way to make an indoor cornhole toss. Uh, first, we have just a plain, simple, thick piece of cardboard that is attached to the PVC with just some tape. Then we have these corner pieces right here that make the first corner legs right here. Then we have some T's that make the uh, center support legs. And then uh, we just have some elbows right here, and it's just simple frame. Um, on there. Then we have these which are just some socks filled with some paper. They're very lightweight and they won't break anything. So it's very, very easy way to make an indoor cornhole toss. This next idea comes from one of our viewers named Cody Atkins. He created this awesome hiking staff. If you look at the top half of it, you'll notice it actually comes apart into two separate sections. And the reason being, he has a bunch of additional supplies hidden inside. Everything from a flashlight to medical supplies to fishing hooks to fire starters to extra tape to plastic. 
about anything you could want or even need if you're out hiking and you get caught in the woods for a while. Thank you, Cody. This is an awesome idea. This next idea actually came to me from a viewer named Bargain Boondocker. He needed a way to hold his light connector for his trailer. So on the front of his trailer, he has one of those screw type jacks that has a wheel on the bottom. Well, he took a piece of PVC and he cut it long ways like I did here. And then he slid it over his uh, jack there. And then he took another piece of PVC about the same size and he put some PVC cement in there and glued them together. And then he now has a nice little holder for his light connector. And that keeps a great way from keeping it off the ground and, and uh, everything, things from getting into it and messing it up. If you'd like to see him actually make this and put it on his trailer and show exactly how it works, I will put a link to the video in the description. A viewer that goes by the channel name, Mr. Grunt Hunter's Adventures, had a great idea about using his GoPro. In a previous video, I mentioned making a little stand that you could screw into the bottom of one of the GoPro stands. And he said, well, that might slide out if you hold it upside down or it gets banged around too much because it's just a slide in piece. So he had a great idea, taking the beginning part and sliding it in, but having it to a screw-on connection so that it stays on a lot easier. Also, he has done this in sections. And the great thing about having this in sections on this nice pole is if by chance one of them gets bent, you can connect this to this. It might be a little bit shorter, but still you have a nice pole. This is great if you're trying to look over something or maybe you're trying to see into a bird's nest way up in that tree. You can do a bunch of extensions and get it up there. Now he made a nice little video of making this and some accessories that go along with it. And I'll make sure to put that video link in the description so make sure you check that out. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and tell us what you think about it in the comments. I want to do something a little bit different. I'd like to feature some of you in a future video. So, if by chance you have a video on YouTube ha making something out of PVC, please send that and a couple pictures of what you made to our Facebook page. I'll put a link to that in our description. I hope to see you all in a future video. Have fun building.